let's start with volume element in curvilinear coordinate system in curvilinear coordinate system So imagine there is a parallel pipette which is infinitesimal, okay, infinitesimal parallel pipette. So and uh, its edges are uh, dl1, dl2, and dl3. So I will draw it here. This is a parallel pipette. Its edges are DL1, DL2, and DL3, which is along E1, E2, and E3 directions. Then I am interested in finding the volume of this parallel pipette. Usually, how we find volume? So, if this is some parallel pipette, okay, and its sides are so this is A, this is B and this is C, this is C, this is A and this is B. Then volume I can find as A, B, C, right? Multiplication of three sides, A, B, C. If the sides are equal, that is A is equal to B is equal to C, then you know it will be the volume of Q, that is A cube. Similarly, I can work it here. So this is DL1 then I can call it this is DL1 okay this is DL2 and this is DL3 DL2 and this one is DL3 then I am interested in volume so dv it can be written as multiplication of DL1 DL2 and dl3 now in last lecture we saw that dl1 is equal to h1 du1 dl2 is equal to h2 du2 dl3 is equal to h3 du3 u1 u2 u3 are coordinate axis or coordinates right u1 u2 u3 are curvilinear coordinates and h1, h2, h3 are scale factors. So I can write it as h1 du1 value of d1 dl1 then h2 du2 h3 du3. I put the value of dl1, dl2, dl3. Further I can write dv is equal to h1 h2 h3 du1 du2 du3 i did nothing i just collected h1 h2 and h3 which are here and then du1 du2 and du3 are here so this is a expression for volume element in curvilinear coordinate system similarly i can find area element right so if i'm interested in finding this area then i can write it as da is equal to this side is dl1 so dl1 and this side is dl3 dl3 i will call it da1 okay then it will be dl1 is h1 du1 so i can write h1 du1 then I can write DL3 is H3 DU3. Further I can write DA1 is equal to H1 H3 DU1 DU3. Similarly I can find other areas like this one and this areas. 
so this is the expression for area element this is the expression for volume element in curvilinear coordinate system so how i calculated area is this usually how we calculate area if this side is a this side is b and i'm interested in finding this area then a is equal to a into b right similar thing i have done here this side into this side i got that is dl1 into dl3 i got area some da1 now we are going to find volume element in spherical polar coordinate system so we are interested in finding volume element in spherical polar coordinate system okay so the coordinates of spherical polar coordinate system are r theta phi this is z axis this is y axis this is x axis x y z axis this is some point p i will write it here whose coordinates are r theta and phi now this is a line joining origin and point p so this is r i will increase r by some small amount dr then this is theta this angle is theta and if i take a projection of r or point p on xy plane then that will be angle phi so i got three coordinate this is r this is theta and this is phi there is some increase in r so that is dr this is dr then i want to increase theta by small amount d theta so suppose this is increasing theta that is d theta so i will get area ta some area so in order to find area this area i should know dr okay dr will be dr that is increase in r now i want to find this this length in terms of d theta so that will be if it is like this this is yes this is r and this is some angle theta then relation between this is theta is equal to s by r okay so you can find s by multiplying theta so i can write it like this s is equal to r theta so similar thing i can do here r is r here and d theta is here i am interested in finding in this length i will call this length say l okay so this l will be l is equal to angle you can see here angle so d theta into r so it will be r d theta so if i multiply dr by r d theta then i will get area this area what i did i increase r by some small amount dr then i increase theta by some some small amount d theta and now i am going to increase phi by some small amount d phi then i will get a volume element over here so this is the line joining the projection and this is a volume element in spherical polar coordinate system now i want to find volume so volume v so in order to find volume v i need to find this length this length and this length and then i'm going to multiply it and i will find volume element so here you can see i will call them this i will call some l1 this l2 and this is l3 this one is l3 okay l3 first l1 
to some small volume that's why I'm going to denote by dv l1 is equal to this is l1 l1 is equal to dr I can directly write it as dr then l2 we found l2 using this formula that is here we found it r d theta now I am interested in finding l3 which is this now you can see if I join this line and this line so I am getting the line this is parallel to this this line is a parallel to this and this angle is again d phi so you can see in this triangle I'm not going to name this triangle because it is already becoming complicated so in this triangle you can write this length okay this length can be written as sine theta into r this length is sine theta r sine theta now again using this formula I'm interested in finding this length so it will be L3 is equal to d phi angle angle is d phi and length length is now length is not r it is r sine theta so it will be r sine theta so I got L1 L2 and L3 I can write it here dr then r d theta and then r sin theta d phi now I'm going to compare it with the earlier expression for volume element which was dv is equal to h1 du1 h2 du2 and h3 du3 so you can see if you compare so here it will be h1 here it is h2 and here it is h3 so you can say that h1 is equal to 1 right here it will be 1 then h2 is equal to r and h3 is equal to r sine theta so I got the scale factors in spherical polar coordinate system also I got volume element dv in spherical polar coordinate system that is so r square sin theta here you can see here is one r here is another r so I wrote it r square sin theta as it is and then dr d theta and d phi similarly we are going to obtain the expression for volume element in cylindrical coordinate system now volume element in cylindrical coordinate system so I want to find volume element in cylindrical coordinate system for that I am going to draw diagram again so these are the axis x y z then this is some point p whose coordinates are I'm going to write it here I'm writing it here because after that it is going to become quite complicated as I have to wrote many things in diagram so that's why I'm writing point P here but actually it is here okay so whose coordinates are Rho Phi and Z so this is point P this will be the Rho if I take its projection this will be the angle phi and this height 
will be z right this height will be the third coordinate which will be z this height now we are going to take small increment in rho that will be d rho okay d rho i will write d rho as it is because it is just incrementing length and i in order to find volume element i need three lengths so i found one dl now i'm going to increase z by some amount dz okay second one is dz so i increase this some amount so i got some area like this okay so this is d rho this is dz third i want to increase phi by some small amount d phi this is d phi and then i will get something like this you can see which projection so So this is a volume element now i found one length that is dz second d rho and i want to find this one which is third okay so this is similar to this you can see both are parallel so i will again the formula as i told you if this is angle theta this is some radius r or some length r and this is another length and i can write s is equal to r theta okay similarly i will use it here i want to find this length which is similar to this which will be r here r is rho multiplied by angle angle that is d phi you can call it dl1 dl2 and this is dl3 now i am interested in finding volume element dv which will be equal to dl1 dl2 and dl3 so that will be so this is dl3 actually and this is dl2 because second coordinate is phi so this is for phi it will be d rho then rho d phi and then dz If I wrote it, dv is equal to rho, d rho, d phi, and dz. This will be the expression for volume element in cylindrical coordinate system. Now I want to compare it with earlier expression, volume element in curvilinear coordinate system. It was h1, h2, h3, du1 du2 and du3 so you can see if you compare h1 okay h1 here or here you can see here was h1 okay h1 is 1 h2 h2 is this h2 is rho h3 h3 is here which is again 1 so this will be the scale factor in cylindrical coordinate system and if you see coordinates are u1 is equal to rho u2 is equal to phi and u3 is equal to z so in this way we can found find volume element in curvilinear coordinate system spherical polar coordinate system and cylindrical coordinate system i understand it is little bit complicated it seems complicated but if you draw it yourself you will surely understand this that it is too much simple okay for today we will stop here see you in the next lecture